Southern the City. I'm a BDSM and kink educator over on Instagram. You can follow me at Southern the City. And I'm bringing to you this mini series called The 12 Days of Kinkness, where I'll be talking through 12 different kinks so that you can try them at home. So to kick off the 12 Days of Kinkness, I'm going to be talking about one of my absolute favorites, impact play. So impact play is commonly known as spanking, and this is often done in a dominant and submissive relationship. However, you don't have to be into BDSM to try this kink at home. A lot of people enjoy a bit of a light spanking in the bedroom. So to get started, you don't need anything at all. You can just use your hand to begin with. There are a couple of different techniques you can try. The first one being a closed cup hand, and the second being an open palm with your fingers spread. Now the second one will create more of a stinging sensation on the skin, but I will let you decide which one you prefer more. The same principle applies with toys. So if you use a toy with a smaller surface area, such as a crop or a cane, then you're going to find a more stinging sensation on the skin. But if you use a toy with a larger surface area, such as a paddle, then that won't hurt as much. But again, I'll let you be the judge of that. Now before you start anything, make sure you warm up the skin with a few light taps to begin with and rubbing the area of the skin. Secondly, always agree on the number of strikes you're going to give and always agree on a safe word. And remember always to practice aftercare, whatever that means for you, whether that's rubbing lotion on the skin or just checking with each other to make sure you're okay. So those are just a few top tips to get started with spanking in the bedroom. If you have any further questions, then you can always check out my Instagram page and keep an eye out for my online workshops. Join me tomorrow where we'll be talking about bondage. Until then, Merry Kinkness!